at y'all. So I figured I'll go ahead and do like a little small uh, intro for right now to give you guys, well, to bring you guys up to speed. So we're getting ready to head off to Great Wolf Lodge. We're keeping it local this time for spring break, uh, keeping it in Georgia. So we're going to LaGrange. Uh, it's probably about an hour and 30 minutes from here. Uh, but before we get to Great Wolf Lodge, we're going to stop at Bucky's first. So we're going to go past Great Wolf, I think, hit Bucky's and then come back to Great Wolf. And then we'll spend a few days there. So I want to preference this piece of the video uh, and everything that you're probably going to see coming from the Sony ZV-1. Because, again, I'm trying to show you guys that you can use this camera uh, for all of your family vacation needs, your spring break, your summer vacation, all of that stuff. This camera with a couple of attachments can get every single thing done. All right, so I thought I'd end the video off right here uh, and just let you guys know that the Sony ZV-1 can still hold its own. I think it's a really good camera for family vlogs, vacations, and all of that stuff. As I tried to show in this video, uh, I shot everything in 1080 60. All the photos, everything was on auto ISO. I didn't make any adjustments to the camera or anything like that. I just pressed record and I just recorded everything. And when it came down to photos, I just turned it on. Uh, I think I had it in program auto or something like that. And I just snapped the photos and I just called it a day. Um, I did bring my iPad and my USB-C hub. Um, that way I can, you know, kind of edit on the go uh, and so forth. So, again, you really can't beat that, man. Uh, get your little iPad, get your little USB-C hub. Uh, for those who are out here with creating vlogs, 
uh, and just want to have something dedicated uh, for the family vlogs uh, and even if you're just running a channel and it's dedicated to vlogging again this camera can hold is on there were a few times where I forgot to put it in uh, active steady shot so some of those clips didn't make it into the video because they were very very shaky because I totally forgot uh, but one of the biggest things that I found out while using the ZV-1 while I was here is that I didn't have to have all those attachments that I actually brought with me. I did have them at the very beginning uh, and throughout the trip. I took everything off and just had the camera literally in my pocket, pulled it out, snap a photo here and there, snap a little bit of video here and there, and I was good to go. Uh, one other thing, too, uh, if you're going to vlog with the ZV-1 and, and bring it with you for your family and stuff like that for vacations and things like that, make sure you have a lot of batteries because, again, if you're using it continuously, those batteries will die and you will have to run through quite a few so I would say at least four batteries is a must uh, if you're gonna be going for going for a few days um, but if you got a place to charge like how you saw in the video I did have a little charging station set up obviously then you should be good to go but at a minimum um, I had one battery in the camera and I had one battery hanging off in my pocket whenever I just had this EV one with me so hopefully uh, this video has been uh, somewhat helpful to anybody out there with the ZV-1 or thinking about getting the ZV-1 for just vlogging and stuff like that. Again, this camera can still hold its own. If you do get the uh, newer lens, just make sure uh, that you have all the attachments for that because that's going to help you as well um, as long as it's going to give you that wide angle shot and you can still keep that active steady shot on and things like that. So that's what that lens is good for, but you don't have to have that um, if you don't want to. But anyway, quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. It's been your boy Jay and I'm out of here. Peace.